The explosion rocked downtown Nashville, shattering the quiet of Christmas morning. From the air, this scale of the destruction was clear. On the ground, streets looked more like a war zone. All this began around 6 in the morning when police were called to the area to investigate gunshots. As officers responded, they encountered an RV that had a recording uh, saying that a potential bomb would detonate uh, within 15 minutes. Witnesses say the recording warned to evacuate now. A bomb is in this vehicle and will explode. Then a voice started a 15-minute countdown. Officers scrambled to get people out of their homes, but the device went off just as the police bomb squad was heading to the area. The neighborhood is home to country music venues and restaurants. Officials say it's fortunate the bomb went off so early when the area was empty, almost. There was actually a man walking his dog on 2nd Avenue that an officer stopped and directed in a, another way just before the RV exploded. Uh, the explosion knocked one of our officers to the ground. No one was killed, but three people suffered minor injuries. Police are now investigating the possibility that human remains were found near the explosion site. 911 emergency service was disrupted following the blast. Cell phone providers also reported service outages when their facilities were damaged by the explosion. The FBI is leading the investigation in what officials call an intentional act. Putting everything we have into finding who was responsible for what's happened here today. Police brought in dogs to look for other explosives, but soon gave the all clear though their investigation is expected to keep the neighborhood largely shut down into the weekend. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Washington.